I'd just like to take this moment, since it's Memorial Day here in the U.S., to say that I hope everyone is enjoying their long weekend. Regardless of where you sit on the political side of any things in any nation, please take a moment to remember that those that have paid the ultimate sacrifice and their family and friends who have also sacrificed. There shouldn't be just one day of a year in one nation where we recognize these folks. Unfortunately, all nations have a military and those militaries are fellow human beings. So I encourage you to take a moment, reflect and give thanks for the freedoms that we have due to these amazing people. Hey, hey, Beasters, and welcome to episode 66 of the Ask Rez Show. It's Jason, or Rez if you'd like, and I'm answering your questions so that you can get past the bumps in the road to building a profitable freelance business. And today's question is, how can I start freelancing without experience? Well, first I want to say that even though you may not think you have experience, you actually do. Leverage the skills that you already have. If you have some administrative experience, you may want to look into some virtual assistant or VA work. If you're a writer, there's tons of freelance writing out there. In fact, get in touch with me. If you have some design skills, every business out there needs some sort of ongoing design work, whether that's social media assets or website work. If you have a passion for photography, get yourself booked for a wedding or do some portraits. If you can draw, then ask around for something to be commissioned on. There's tons of great gift ideas out there for people looking for unique gifts for people to draw. Most freelancers start off with something small to get their feet wet. So use that skill that you have and start there. Now, in regards to the business side of freelancing, well, we all start out with zero experience, so you're not alone there. Though, on the business side is where you can differentiate yourself from all other freelancers. Your organization skills, follow-up, how you document aspects of the project, how you deliver on what it, it, what it is that you actually are doing, as well as the customer experience. All of these things matter in creating a buzz around how you do what you do and create the word of mouth to other folks around what it is that you do. The best suggestion I can offer here in is to get yourself into a community, a great community of other freelancers to learn the business side of things. Don't do what I do. I loved sitting behind a desk, behind a keyboard, and siloing myself. I encourage you to go to events and network with other business folks, not just other freelancers. You start to understand and hear things that you know resonate with you and what you want your business to be as well as what you don't want your business to be. Online communities are a plenty for sure but there are a handful of those that are outstanding for freelancers to learn and hone their craft. WP Elevation is amazing if you work with WordPress. CMA or the Content Marketing Academy is great if you're a writer. If you're looking to remain solo as a solo freelancer, meaning Feast, which is our online community, will help you niche down and build recurring revenue. I'll put all of these links into the show notes for you. So don't worry about that. The thing about freelancing is to start. If you wait around for that moment where you feel like you're comfortable with your experience level, you're going to be waiting for a long, long time. One thing I've learned over the years is to put yourself in a bit of an uncomfortable position. If you aren't uncomfortable, then you won't grow and you won't learn. Don't be afraid to fail. Just because you stumble, it doesn't mean you fail. Failing only happens when you don't learn from those stumbles. But what 
that's what I'm here for, right? And that's what I'm here for, right? To help you out in any sort of way that I can to help you get past those bumps in the road or as many of those bumps that I hit along the way. So how can you start freelancing without any experience? My answer is just do it. Get yourself out there and give it a go. It'll be the first step in your path to living the life of your own design. If you have a question, ask Rez. That's me by dropping me a tweet, an email, or go ahead and leave your question in iTunes by going to res.com slash iTunes. And while you're there, if you wouldn't mind leaving a five-star review, that'll help the podcast get discovered by more folks like you. So until next time, it's your time to live in the feast.